Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. We have already done with three tutorials in free MS Advanced Excel course. Today we are having a practice session with case series. Here we will be discussing some examples. I am Saurabh Jain and I welcome you on the behalf of Business Intelligence Analytics Community. The website name is bi-analytics.org. For many of us, the barrier to entry in becoming proficient at Excel is understanding how Excel formula work. I believe you all have gone through tutorial number three. After that, in this case series, we will develop several simple spreadsheet model examples that should get you ready to master the complexities of Excel. How to apply formulas with relative referencing and absolute referencing are important. So let's take a couple of cases to understand with very basics. Don't worry if you have never worked on Excel. And if you have already worked, this will be a very good exa example and exercise for you. Let's start. So say I have a question. How can I determine each of my employees weekly wages? So this is the case given is employee name or ID, number of hours and wage per hour. And we have to calculate weekly salary of each employee, total hours worked and average salary paid to each employee. This we will do in Excel. Let me teach you. Mm -hmm. So I'll just start the Excel. So here I'm the sheet. I have taken employee one as EMP one, EMP two, EMP three. Like this, we have eight employees. In in a, in a week, employee one has worked for 49 hours, 36 hours, 43, 35, 38, like this. And we have wages per hour for each employees. So first of all, we have to apply a formula to calculate weekly salary. It is simple. We have to multiply c4 into d4 so how we will do we will put is equals to we will select this cell so now is equals to c4 multiply by d4 enter so now we have calculated weekly salary for employee one now we have to calculate there are a couple of ways now how to do move ahead we can say control c you know how to do copy Co copy Shortcut is control C and select all these and press control V. This is one way of doing it. Fine. Second way is just press after selecting press enter. Look, here is the answer. This is fantastic. Fine. So now we have to calculate total hours. I have already told you that shortcut is alt is equals to enter. This is done auto sum for us. Same way. Now we can copy this control C and we can paste this formula control V. So we have a total ready fine. Now we have to calculate the average salary of each employee not of our. So I just need to do is equals to A V E R A G average this and so I select all the weekly salaries. So we have this ready. Hope it was very easy. So now if you want to study it out, how you will do? I'll tell you one thing. Say I say is equals to formula text. Formula text. And I say this like this. So now see. So I can see now what formulas has been applied. Same way I can say control C to control V. Sorry. Like this. So now we have all the formulas. I have used the command formula text. Fine. So this way. We have done one example. Hope you are able to do it. Uh, I will be sharing this file and the link will be in the description of this video. Just download this file 
and try to do it yourself. Second example now. Now, uh, now I want to co compute bakery cost. My case is that bakery pays to six suppliers for purchasing sugar, flour and butter. Fine. But there are two scenarios. A supplier pays, sorry, a bakery pays different costs to different suppliers or it can be same price for each supplier. So there are two cases. Let's work on it. See, we have prices per pound, supplier 1, sugar, butter and flour. So you can see that dollar 1.57 per pound is the price for butter for supplier 1. Hope you are able to understand this matrix. Same way we have quantity and now we have to calculate cost. Simple. So we have sugar of supplier 1 0 0.32 multiplied by 364. This we have to multiply. So I will say is equals to this multiply by this. Up as everything is relative, we can drag simple like this and it will give you the answer. You can check. Fine. Okay. So now we can say control C copy and I've already told you that select this area and press enter. This will give you the answer. Fine. Now we have to do total for supplier. 1. Ki how much supply 1 we are paying. Now there is another method. What you can do is select all this and go into home tab. There is a auto sum button. How I have done is I selected all these four even the total cell and went to home cell and did it like this. Now, what we can do is control C, select all these, press enter. Here is your answer. Same way, I have given you the shortcut alt is equals to. Alt is equals to. Now you can drag them out. This total has no significance, but yes. So, this is the total for supplier 1. And this is the total for sugar. Like this, we have calculated the cost for supplier. Now, the question is that the price is same. So, if you will use this formula, it may change anything. It will give an error. Like, see how it will happen. You have to multiply 364 into $0.40. 364 into $0.40. Then you have to do 387 into $0.40. So this cell has to be constant always. Which one? E3. So what I'll do is, is equals to this multiplied by this. Fine. Up actually, we are keeping rows constant in the column. But how, how we can make it a fixed one? By pressing F4. So I'll say Fn F4. And I'll press enter. Up now if I drag like this. Now you see that it is always taking this cell. But now if you drag into this, it will give you a wrong answer. Why? See, because now it's again taking the price of E3, but it has to be F3. So we'll write another formula. Now we can do mixed referencing in this, but right now I'm not going into mixed reference. So is equals to this 
multiplied by fn f4 enter like this so here is another cell answer now you can see it's working fine again is equals to this multiply by this and I have to press F4 remember press enter now you have to drag it like this again totals you know how to do it select all these four go into home and you have auto sum oh it has given the wrong answer because I calculated the formula at that time so first I have to delete this now it will work home auto sum here is the answer now I can control C copy and I can say enter like this alt equals to this gives another answer and I can drag it out like this so this was another exercise make sure to practice it out it is very important to do it yourself these are the building fundamentals we are building fundamentals for you in next couple of sessions we'll be moving very fast so this formula practice is very important please download the excel file and do it yourself next case <laughs> i have to predict number of customers in a health club in next 10 years say number of customers at beginning of year one i know churn rate the fraction of start starting customers who quit each year so say if i have 100 customers and 5 percent goes it means 95 will be remaining and the number of new customers obtained each year say if again 10 customers join it will be 95 so 100 minus 5 plus 10 like this so let's complete let's make this into model Customer. so I have starting number of customers say 100 and every year new person coming out new customers are 20 new customers are added and churn rate is 0.15 so we have to make a formulas so start one will be first year will be is equals to and I'll connect with C2 fine okay now new customers will be how much is equals to 20 now if I want to drag it every time to this 20 only then I should press F4 to this so it becomes dollar C dollar 3 enter how many quits 0.15 so is equals to 100 multiply by 0.15 and this also has to be always the same so I do it F4 enter see much like this hmm. so at the end is equals to 100 starting plus new customers minus people who quit ah, there is one uh, case that uh, there are answer is also coming in decimal we can round it out and we can do subtraction but objective here is to use the formula so now now what will be the second year's starting one that will be equals to the end customers in the previous one fine and new customers will be the same quits one will be same so i can just copy it control c and paste it control v it should work fine see formula is working fine and this quit rate this is also taking the churn rate only fine so now when you have this now you can do control c and select entire and press enter so this has solved to you out so this has been like 278p let's check the formula is it coming correct and this one from f16 fine so like this we have done it so today we have taken three cases now i have a special request 
that if you are watching and you are sincere towards this course please download this excel file and do it manually yourself i will give you the excel file <laughs> How was this session? Was this useful to you? And what was the pace? Are we moving slow or fast? Please let us know. Download the file from businessintelligenceanalytics.org and please share this video as much as you can. Around five to six tutorials will be will be moving very slow, but idea is to build the fundamentals strong for us. Hope you are liking this course. please like our facebook page twitter instagram and linkedin because i want everyone should join this course but i need your help in this hope you all will love this session and you please suggest me if you have some ideas if you have some specific questions you can come on the website and post it all so let's meet in next tutorial thank you very much